Hello and good afternoon. Smart city is a buzzword these days. However, we have gone so far. Smart city. Now we are. We have started talking about smart villages. Whatever it is, smart city and smart villages is about providing the basic necessities with the help of advanced technology and other amenities. Now, when we talk about this, uh, there are a lot of uh, new innovations and inventions has gone into making our cities smarter. Netix Control, one of the Indo-European uh, organization companies, which has brought a couple of the uh, very innovative products, which will again further add a lot of value to the concept of smart cities. I have with me Mr. Siddesh Khan Olkar, who is one of the dynamic, young, energetic leader from Netix Control, is here with us, has been selected as one of the young global dynamic uh, innovator and entrepreneur under our Global Innovator Entrepreneurship Show, mentored by Dr. P. Shekhar, who, is, who himself is an innovator and technologist and is helping and mentoring hundreds of startups that we are selecting under this show. And we, we are very careful in selecting them uh, because we, we want to show and ensure the startups we have are and actually go to the next level of you know revolution and invention. So, uh, Siddesh, welcome and kindly introduce yourself. So, first of all, thank you so much, Mr. Akram, for, for a lovely introduction. And I would really li like to thank you for uh, giving us the opportunity to to present on this platform and to illustrate our solutions and the products uh, that we provide uh, to the audience through you. And I would also like to thank Dr. Sekar for uh, uh, for uh, allowing us to share this platform with you, uh, who, who himself has already been doing a lot of contributions in the in the smart city sector as such. So this is me, Siddesh Khanulkar, and I am I am the techno commercial lead for uh, enterprise solutions with Netix Controls. And I provide uh, enterprise solutions majorly for, uh, uh, for, for smart cities and for the data center domain as such. So I have completed my engineering. Uh, uh, I've, I've been graduated from uh, DY Patil College and I've completed my graduation under the electronics and telecommunications. And since my college days, I've uh, always been keen on uh, learning you know, more and more of uh, the machine learning and artificial intelligence algorithms. And uh, uh, I've, I've, I've done a lot of projects in that domain, including the Mumbai University, University recognized project for uh, uh, weapon detection alert system and analysis using machine learning. And since, since my college days, I have, I have been keenly following the, the smart city sector of India. And I've, I've realized that uh, India as a smart city market has been growing tremendously and has been growing exponentially. So this is, this is where uh, we as Netix controls, we, we have our own softwares, we have our, our own systems and solutions regarding smart cities and regarding the data center domain as such. Excellent. So as we understand, smart uh, Netix control is an integrated command and control center uh, system, right? Now, right, can yeah. you please tell us a little bit about the latest products and services and Definitely. how unique are they from the others? So talking about ICCC, as you mentioned, uh, uh, smart cities, uh, have their core as ICCC. So ICCC stands for Integrated Command and Control Center. And in very simple words, uh, ICCC is something that revolves around people. And people are who make cities smarter. So uh, ICCC uh, is, a, is an integrated platform wherein all the solutions and all the products that function in a city are, are integrated and managed together on a, on a single sign-on window. So we, uh, with our Netix Connect platform, we, we have our own ICCC, which we proudly call as the IICCC, that is Intelligent and Integrated Command and Control Center. So it, it's basically a cognitive platform for uh, centralized and unified management uh, of all the city data and of all the city systems, subsystems that are consisting inside a city. So the basic question that arises when, uh, when I talk about IEEE is that what makes our IEEE smart? So the quick answer for this would be AID, that is Analyzed Integrated Data. So what this means is that our system makes it very much easier for uh, controlling all the complex solutions and subsystems that are there inside a city or inside a smart city. So in, which in turn provides efficient analytics, it provides insights, it provides assumptions to the customers using our advanced artificial intelligence, uh, machine learning algorithms and the database handling algorithms that we have. Talking uh, more about how we, how we feel that we, are, uh, we set, set ourselves apart from the others. So 
it's not just the ICCC platform, the ICCC software that we provide into smart cities. But apart from the smart cities, we are also connected to the intelligent and integrated building management systems as such. So the smart buildings, what we call. So uh, under this uh, domain, we provide uh, various other products uh, along with our group companies. That is the the PA system, the public address system, and the voice alarm system. Then the fire detection system and alarm system, the building management systems, the access control systems in the security domain. Then it could be the CCTV systems as well, the VMS systems, that is the video management software, the video analytics systems. Coming to the uh, safety fire protection part, that is the fire suppression system as such, and we also have the water leak detection and the rodent replace repellent systems as such. So all all in one, we provide a, a connected environment and providing all these solutions and products. Uh, you know that are required in a smart city. Smart city, and uh, uh, we we provide design support for all this uh, all these solutions. Uh, we provide it from the planning stage and from the blueprint of the smart city till the complete uh, installation, execution, and uh, the implementation of the whole smart city as such. So, all in one, uh, we we make it sure that the customer you know has to rely only on one entity for for all the solutions as such. So this is something that we we always carry with us whenever we. Uh, we always carry in our basket whenever we do the the smart cities as such then uh, regarding all these uh, all these solutions that i just mentioned we are also complied to the uh, to the various uh, rules and regulations that are there the the building standards as such so for example the cyber security standards like the iss standards the iec standards the nist the nist protocols and the the building standards like the nbc the nfpa standards so we are we are strictly sticking to all these uh, rules and regulations that have been set by the Uh, the officials as such and talking a little more about uh, how how we are unique from others we uh, as we all know that the whole world is uh, moving towards a uh, cloud based and iot based world we our platform provides integration for the third party uh, systems as well so you can say the big systems like the cloud integration the, the database integrations the web servers the application server platforms uh, the third party integration of cctv cameras as well so all this can be done done through our ictc platform using the edge gateway so we are very much promoting the edge gateway and the iot enabled systems so the, basically this this uh, just proves that our system uh, you know uh, has a sustainable environment is secure is flexible and it's is adaptable as such so apart from all the software that i have been talking to with you uh, the hardware that we provide uh, with our with our systems is also iot enabled uh, hardware so this is where you know i feel that we uh, we are unique from from others as such excellent excellent so uh, sidesh now the kind of given given the presentation you made understanding the relevance of the product your the whole world is your market because every country whether these are african countries or south asian countries like bangladesh nepal all are coming up with you know kind of a smart city concept now what is your global uh, expansion plan like how do you want to reach out to other part other corner of the world uh, and and reach out to the governments who are planning to come up with more and more smart cities so talking about global expansions uh, we have already recently set up our office in singapore and we have already appointed the international uh, business development director who is heading his own team in uh, in singapore in lebar and talking about other global expansions uh, we are very soon going to launch our office uh, in sri lanka in colombo and then we are having plans of uh, uh, expanding our business in mongolia the smart city sector in mongolia as well as the smart city sector in bangladesh as such and talking more about the global expansions that we are having currently we are having this uh, center of innovation and engineering platform uh, in our office premises here in uh, india and from here we have expanded our business by providing support by providing trainings and demonstrations to our customers not only in india but all over the globe as such excellent so any other innovation uh, that you have uh, brought in or added in your uh, product list so talking about the innovations that we are coming up with we are uh, we are truly focused uh, upon uh, providing uh, customer specific solutions so we are we are not just providing point solutions to the customer but we are you know very keen into providing bespoke solutions to the customer which ensures that the customer requirements are met and that uh, and that we we address the necessities of the customer sitting, sitting with the government officials by sitting with the customers and you know uh, planning the whole project right from the design stage to the to the blueprint of the project to the complete execution and implementation of the whole project 
so this, this is this these are uh, these are the plans that we have with us and talking about innovations with this we are uh, very soon uh, launching our own partner program that that we proudly call as the netix novus partner program and this program is going to be launched on the 1st of september at the very iconic burj khalifa and it's going to be attended by more than 1000 attendees and it's going to be broadcasted in uh, more than 20 countries as such and uh, uh, so this this program is basically uh, basically aimed at the at what we call it as the uh, brownfield revolution so what what these brownfield sectors are the the sectors in which uh, the customers face difficulties in uh, uh, in systems where you know systems are not uh, not properly uh, being being able to maintain by the uh, by the customer so the customers have problem opening the systems they have maybe problems so you know servicing those systems uh, the the maintenance contract of the systems is uh, very much high very much costly and you know the systems uh, cannot the, the systems are basically closed systems and they cannot be accessed properly so this is where our netix partner program novus partner programs comes into play and we hold our grounds very strong in this one that we are con confident enough and we have developed a platform when we sit at the top of these systems and we provide a provide an open protocol wherein what we do is we we provide our customers with uh, with uh, open systems and we we make this we open the systems for them and this in turn you know allows them to access the system properly to service those systems and it also reduces the maintenance co maintenance uh, contract costs as such so uh, following this uh, launch we have already had our uh, first platinum member for this uh, program uh, who has already been awarded a lot of contracts under our partnership program so uh, to name a few of these contracts it would be the 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 19 communities vertical communities that have been awarded by imar then we have the uh, the maintenance and upgrade contract for the demac properties the building automation system uh, system solutions for for the hafza convention center for the mazaya buildings and then we have the uh, the bulgari resort in uh, jumeria bay the pullman hotel uh, then we have the emirates airline staff accommodation in uh, in dubai as such so all these all these projects and all these contracts regarding building automation systems regarding uh, maintenance contracts have already been awarded to our uh, first uh, platinum member and we would really like to give you all the opportunity for replicating the success of our uh, of our partners as such and talking a few talking a little more about the future plans that we have and the innovations that we are pl planning to come up with we are uh, coming up with an mnv uh, platform which is called as the measuring and verification platform so this platform basically uh, we were going to work with the esco companies so esco stands for energy saving companies and working with this esco companies we are going to uh, going to provide solution energy saving solutions to the customers so what happens is uh, the customer does not have to pay the capital pay the money from their own pockets for the resources that he uses but instead we provide energy savings to these customers and the the customer pays us from this this uh, energy savings as such so we we do energy audits with the customer and suggest the various uh, energy implementations based on our own energy analytics platform on our energy management services so this is how this esco model works and our mnv uh, the measuring and verification platform is certified by ip mvp that is the international performance measuring and verification protocol and it's basically software as a service protocol so we are we are uh, we are we have already kick started the the planning of this uh, this uh, this platform as such outstanding excellent that is our young future leader talking about lot of new innovation lot of technology which are going to now any major challenge and opportunity you see siddesh uh, post pandemic yeah yeah exactly post pandemic so uh, <clears throat> for us we as a team uh, we believe that wherever there are challenges uh, there are opportunities as well and as you said post pandemic uh, the covid situation so it might look like a challenge for uh, for us and for everybody who is in the technological sector to you know to to uh, to uh, to improve the uh, technological uh, technological opportunities that that are there inside the country but uh, rather than looking at it looking at it as a challenge we look at it as an opportunity because uh since the post pandemic situation the whole world is uh, the whole world has moved towards uh, towards an iot enabled uh, iot enabled world towards uh, more of a cloud connectivity world towards a digital uh, digital world as such so we uh, as a team uh, what we feel is that wherever there are challenges there are equal opportunities there are even more opportunities as such and the indian smart city and the indian ipcc market is the perfect example of this and as you mentioned the uh, the covid scene in india the post pandemic scene 
so it might look like uh, this is not the time for ad technological advances in india because uh, the country and the whole globe is towards you know uh, stabilizing their economy but the when you look at it at a different from a di different perspective uh, the whole world is uh, leaning towards uh, towards a digital market towards an iot enabled world so this is where there are tons and tons of tons of opportunities in india for our domain so one of the challenges that i feel in this domain is the energy saving uh, energy saving domain so energy saving is a very vital challenge in today's era uh, everybody is focusing on how they can you know uh, improve the improve the sustainability of the energy resources so here here we see that sector not as a challenge but as an opportunity for us because we we provide the energy analytics and the energy management systems as, as such with our measuring and uh, verification initiatives with the government officials and the esco companies uh, we provide the proper energy savings to the customers so this ensures that uh, uh, the customer saves his money and also in turn the sustain sustainability and livability of those uh, energy resources is, uh, is 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 maintained as such so this was about uh, the challenges that are faced in the energy sector then uh, one of the biggest challenges that i feel in the sector is the mindset of legacy brands so legacy brands uh, are also a challenge but also an opportunity for us so these legacy systems they are locked at the very top end and we as netix controls we have already been working on truly open systems and these lock systems what what happens is in many companies in many organizations in many buildings in many cities what happens is they still run uh, legacy systems and these softwares uh, they they cause problems uh, involving the security risks so what happens is in these systems they do not receive proper updates proper patches uh, to address the security vulnerabilities and as a result what happens is they end up uh, compromising their entire net network security so this is where our platform uh, holds the ground tight and strong so our platform is basically designed to always stay updated and to always stay uh, stay and receive updates over time and receive patches over time and provide customers with the the updated solutions and to understand the needs of the customers the requirements of the customers as they keep on changing uh, over period over over period of time okay so so this what are your future plans yeah so uh <clears throat> india as a smart city market uh, is growing uh, tremendously dominantly and exponentially so so when i did when we did our research on the indian take on smart cities uh, we realized we realized that not only is india having the the perfect plan and vision for smart city missions but they are also working and implementing it in the in the in the, in the very uh, very most efficient way possible uh and, and as we discussed the covid smart city, covid uh, post pandemic smart city seen in india the whole world is moving towards a digital world and iot enabled world and there are a lot of cities lot of villages that are going to uh, turn smart that are going to you know uh, have the smart city platform uh, installed in them so our primary focus and primary goal in the future is going to you know provide bespoke solutions to the customers and results so that we, you know we can ensure that the places cities villages that we serve Uh, stay updated with all the technological advances that are going to happen in the future as such uh, talking about uh, uh, some of our future plans uh, we are coming up with our uh, own uh, own platform for the uh, the digital industrial uh, sector so uh, we are coming up with our digital industrial platform uh, as such so this is basically aimed at the industrial sectors so as we know that the industrial sector uh, has been uh, has been an evergreen sector it's been blooming in the past it's been it's blooming now it's going to bloom in the future as well so in this sector uh, there are two worlds basically the ot world and the it world so the ot stands for operational technological world so what happens is uh, i would explain this uh, by giving a simple example so uh, take an industry take a pharmaceutical industry so in this industries uh, there is there are these ot worlds so the operational technological field wherein all the hardware all the controllers and all the physical uh equipments that are, that are there inside the the industry all the medical equipments so all these are handled and in the it side there are all the the, the communica communicational data the information and you know the softwares regarding those medical equipments and all those all this consists all those all this is impacted in the it sector so so the problems that the customer faces in this in these uh, industries is that the ot and the it worlds they never they never ever they never actually meet so whenever the customer wants information and con and consolidate the information from both the worlds it's 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 a very tedious task to do so we as netix controls we have come up with our own with our own uh, digital industrial platform wherein we are uh, uh, when we are uniting both these worlds and we are providing uh, a software uh, uh, 
we are providing the hardware as well wherein you know a, a centralized platform it can be provided to the customer wherein you know the efficient management uh, and quick retrieval of crucial data can be done <clears throat> from our end talking uh, talking more about the future plans as such so uh, we we have our center of innovation and engineering uh, in india and we we are also al already parallelly working uh, on the make in india initiative that's happening in india so we are very soon going to come up with our own uh, make in india products and and we are very soon going to support the uh, the uh, initiatives that are launched by the government for in the, in the make in india sector as such thank you thank you so much sitesh this was dynamic and young and energetic and how sharp and to the point sitesh kanolkar talking about the lot of innovation and innovative products that netix control uh, is coming up with so with this i go to our mentor dr p shekhar to kindly comment on the uh, presentation that uh, sitesh made today very very nice to see an young boy sitesh is an entrepreneur inside an enterprising organization so here is an organization which is providing lot of global footprints global in the most important field of uh, control and communication which is the one which knits all the sectors together as we all know without that there is no smart city there is no uh, communication everything will be in bits and pieces once you bring all this thing in a single umbrella everything is knitted properly and thus as i understand from siddesh presentation they have gone right from a city to a mega city level to a smallest village level which means that market is absolutely on a huge and very good footing and an engineer like him being in the somewhere in the lead and being an like i told entrepreneur inside inside an enterprising organization would always make the organization go into a different dimension because anybody would like to see an it and ict from an engineer rather than any uh, old person and engineer with the knowledge which siddesh seems to possess in a very good way and with that i'm sure siddesh should be having a very good success and nitik also should have a good success and they would go global but they should also have ensure that their footprint in india is very strong already i understand that you know they got a very strong footprint in india with many prestigious uh, uh, organizations which they have already done and are doing and with that uh, footprint uh, in place uh, of course like he said you know he is going to have a major launch in the middle east which is again very good i also understand that some of the largest buildings in middle east is done by them and they are also very strong in europe they themselves seems to have a parallel r&d unit in europe also so this is a beautiful indo european combination indo european combination is a very a lethal combination like indo us indo japan indo europe is something which is there because in europe also provides the business of almost over 50 countries which are uh, inside and near that area and along with the middle east is bordering europe they would naturally have the uh, advantage of operating the two and india being a very good point where best of the technologies can be evolved developed tested and also implemented which would give them a solid base for a global expansion i'm sure this would become a very good expanding company and it will become a multinational if it is not already multinational it will become multinational shortly and uh, congratulations to you congratulations to the congratulations to the management in ethics to make uh, to come up with such good product come up with uh, such young entrepreneurs inside the organization and to make it a grand and throbbing success best wishes to all thank you thank you thank you so much dr shekhar uh, thank you so much siddesh for joining us today here is siddesh an entrepreneur is also in the enterprising india so siddesh also represents the enterprising india that uh, the, the, the whole world is going to witness so if you like to uh, like our onto global entrepreneur innovator show do subscribe and if you want to be part of it you uh, get our contact details there we will be very happy to have you thank you keep watching policy time